Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gebo the Shaman and today we're talking about what happens when we have the moon placed in the fifth house in your birth chart. So what happens when the moon is in the fifth house in your birth chart. So uh, in order to understand this placement better we need to understand what uh, the moon means and then we'll talk about what the fifth house means and put them together, come up with our own analysis, and there you go. Alright, so, um, so before I get into all that good stuff, I'd just like to let you guys know that I am a Vedic astrologer. I do Vedic astrology readings, and so, um, one of the things that I, a couple of the things that I specialize in are, um, career readings, uh, relationship readings. I also do um, a birth time rectification and uh, the astrology. I have an astrology certification course so and with that you can actually make your own business out of that. I give you your own free website and domain and all that good stuff so yeah. Um, Alright so what do we have when we have um, moon in the fifth house? So like I said, we need to understand what um, what the moon means, and then we'll talk about what the fifth house is. Put them together and create our own analysis. So what is the moon? The moon is our mind. And when I say our mind, I don't mean what's up here. I don't mean the intellect. I mean the heart mind, the emotions, the the feelings, the thoughts, the emotions. And so um so the basically the um mind, the moon is the mind and the thoughts, the emotions, the feelings. And so the moon also relates to the the mother. So it's it's feminine energy, it's nurturing energy, it's loving loving, supportive, compassionate, all those things. And so um then what we have is well so the other thing to know about the moon is that the moon is always changing, it's always in flux, it's always moving. So, you know, it'll go from a new moon, it'll wax to full, and then it'll, you know, wane back to a new moon. So, that's, uh, that's the cycle of the moon, and our, our emotions change, our feelings change, and so this is a very uh, changeable, um, mutable, um, you know, the moon is very, very changeable, it's always changing, it's never fixed, it's always, you know, changing, so, um, so then the moon also controls the tides, the tides rise, the tides fall, and, uh, that's, the moon controls that. So the moon is also a very watery planet, a very emotional planet, it's a very nurturing, loving planet, and um, yeah, so that's just about the moon, and then we have the fifth house. So the fifth house is this the uh, house of the sun, so this is, um, you know, uh, Leo is naturally the fifth sign, so um, so that's that means that's ruled by the sun, and the sun is very, uh, very, you know, outgoing. Very you know, so this out this house is actually very fun, playful, outgoing, um, creative expressive um this is you know associated with 
the the fifth house is the the house of children and higher education so yeah higher education and children and things like that and um let's see so yeah so it has those kind of things going for it so when we have moon in the fifth house um basically it's our our emotions come into the come into the realm of the sun so uh this means so the fifth house is also the house of of actors and acting and musicians and playing and you know playing instruments and things like that so it's you know it's all about those things so so that means that not only like you might have an affinity towards those things like you might you might be one of those people who does really good with children like you know is very nurturing to them and very compassionate supportive all that stuff and so you might want to have children and or in fact that's a strong possibility with this placement these people will um would love to have children and stuff so yeah um and then we have so um another thing with this placement is that the moon being your emotions and the fifth house being the house of like creativity and creative expression um you would be a very good um actor like somebody who can really express their emotions and things like that so and you might have like you might find different creative forms of like art and music and paintings and drawings and acting and all kinds of things all kinds of different um art mediums and forms of art to express your emotions to uh to express yourself emotionally so you might be a very artistic person you might be very um you know um drawn towards like you know just uh the left uh the i mean the the right side of your brain just very creative and so you might be very right right brained um very creative very intuitive very um artistic things like that and so another thing that the moon represents is your relationship with your mother so that kind of that kind of um gives the idea that your your relationship with your mother was kind of like fun almost like she was she might have been more of of like a a friend or you know that kind of role than than an actual um like mother I mean, so there might have been like, you know, the the focus there might have been on playing and on and on being creative and and expressive and like things like that, rather than um, rather than being you know nurturing and loving and things like that. So that's something that uh, that you know that that can happen with this placement so um let's see so yeah i think that's it for me guys um let me check on time and yeah we're good so um so if you would like to check out everything that i have to offer i have it all listed up here so you can check that out uh all kinds of stuff on sale guys so check it out and every time you make a purchase, um, you're supporting the channel, you're supporting me, you're helping me. I'm actually 
in the process of looking for a different place to live, so yeah, um, it's uh, fun times. <laughs> Alright guys, so I have the astrology certification course and the uh, birth time uh, rectification. So the, the astrology course is actually like if you pass the test, um, if you pass the test, I'll give you your own uh, astrology website where you can charge people money to get, you know, astrology services from you. So that's that's one of the things that happens when you become one of my certified Vedic astrologers. And then we have the Vedic astrology readings, so, you know, um, so that I have... I have just like my my comprehensive reading and then I have the career reading, the relationship reading and you know you can kind of have me have me specialize on or like focus on a certain area of life for you during your reading. Um that's one of the options that I offer. And so then we have the ritual magic courses, so you can check those out, those are very powerful. And then we have the uh, the Cosmic Qigong course. So, um, yeah, that's the the Cosmic Qigong course and then and then the Self Transformation Challenge. Those are very powerful energy work courses and things, so you can check them out, alright? Check out everything that I have to offer at gilbotheshaman.com And if you like this, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. Alright, so we'll talk to you next time. Alrighty, take care. Peace.